Have you ever felt that paralysis when you have all these beautiful flowers made and then you're staring at a blank slate of a white cake and have no idea what to do with it? Today, I'll share with you my best tips and tricks for arranging flowers on a cake. Before we do that, grab everything you're gonna need to arrange these flowers on a cake in the description box below. Subscribe to my channel while you're down there and then also give me a thumbs up on this video if you wanna see more just like it. Let's arrange these flowers. To assemble this cake, I'm gonna be using an eight inch board. I also have four layers, each one inch thick of vanilla and coconut cake. For assembly, I'm gonna be using 400 grams of Nutella buttercream. And this is just my Swiss meringue buttercream recipe with Nutella added in. And for masking, I'm going to have 400 grams of just plain white buttercream also my Swiss meringue buttercream. So these cakes have been sliced in half and then chilled, so they're nice and cool. So I'm gonna alternate between the coconut and the vanilla layers. Just a dab of buttercream, and then we can assemble. Let's speed through this. So we're all done here, and now I'm gonna crumb coat this quickly, and then we can pop it in the fridge before we mask it with our white buttercream. And if you do wanna learn a little bit more about my process, assembling and masking cakes, stacking them and all the basics, I am going to be putting out some new resources this year. So if you're interested in that, make sure you join the waitlist in the description box below. There you're going to be notified as soon as I've got more info on that, but it's very exciting. I'm gonna be putting together a ton of resources so you can do everything from start to finish and make beautiful, elegant wedding cakes. Once you've got this crumb coated, let's pop this into the freezer for maybe 15 minutes, and then we can go ahead and mask it. I have chilled the cake long enough so it is firm to the touch and the buttercream isn't coming off. So let's get our white buttercream and mask this cake. Now that we're done our first rough mask, we are ready to pop this into the freezer for about 20 minutes until it's really nice and firm. After that, we can give it a quick scrape just to smooth it out and then we can arrange our flowers onto the cake. What I'm gonna do in the meantime while our cake is chilling is tell you about all of the flowers that I'm going to be working with today. So I've got all of these beautiful flowers from my three rose courses, David Austin roses, classic roses, and then I also have hellebores. So all of these are from my courses that I just mentioned, and you can grab all the details for those in the description box below this video. But I wanna explain exactly the mix that you're going to want of large flowers to small flowers to greenery. So since we're just arranging flowers on a one tier cake, we don't need a ton of flowers. We're not gonna use all of these. I'm gonna use these for a larger arrangement, which you can find in the arrangement module of all of these three courses. But for this purpose, we're just going to probably use a couple of the classic roses. I would say one David Austin, maybe a couple of the hellebores, and then I have a selection of different spray roses here. You can find this tutorial for free on YouTube. I'm gonna link that in the description as well. I've also got Stephanotis, another free tutorial, and Hydrangeas, which are another free tutorial. Here I've got some rose greenery, which I just posted last week how to make these, so you can grab that also on YouTube for free. And finally, Italian Ruscus, also free tutorial. So you can do basically 80% of all of the flowers here totally for free. And when you're ready to invest, you can purchase any of these three courses with me. As soon as we're done arranging all these flowers, I'm gonna make a list for you. Put that in the description box below so you can download it and make one of each of these flowers that you're gonna to need to make the exact same arrangement that I'm making here. I've had so many requests for how to insert uh, your sugar flowers safely into real cakes, so that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna to show you how to do this easy straw method and all you have to do is um, get some really thin straws. These are just cocktail straws or like stirring straws and we can use these and insert the wires into there and they'll be nice and secure to go into your cake. So let's grab one of our straws and let's start with just one of our spray roses. So this is a 22 gauge wire. We know that this is much too thick to go into the straw itself. It's going to be like wobbling around everywhere. So all we need to do is bend this wire like so and it's gonna be nice and snug so it's not gonna move around. We don't have to worry about it falling out. 
just feel where the wire is going to and then snip maybe a centimeter beneath that. Let's do one more just so I can show you how it looks. So this one is a thicker stem since we added five different wires together plus our stamen. And you might want to get a few different size straws just in case you have any really thick stems. But I think this one's gonna fit. And usually for hellebores or larger flowers, I have them quite close to the cake. But if you're not going to, you can see this is just fitting in here. I'm gonna bend just the very bottom of it and make it as tight as possible just to give it a little bit more of a snug fit so it's not shifting around at all. Let's see if we can make that fit, make that work, insert that, and it should fit perfect. So let's leave a couple centimeters of space, check where it is going down to, and then snip maybe a centimeter or so below that. And it's all ready. I'll add the straws to the rest of these as we're going along in the arranging process. And then I'll give you my best tips and tricks for arranging as we go. Just need to scrape the cake and then we can get started. So I actually allowed this cake to chill overnight uh, because I didn't have time to finish it. So this has been very nice and chilled um, for 24 hours. And now we're ready to scrape it. And as I mentioned, please join the waitlist in the description box below if you wanna learn these techniques. Usually I would be a little bit more picky about how perfect everything is, but we're gonna put so many flowers on this, it's not gonna matter. Now we have to decide uh, the direction that we want our flowers to be arranged in. So for this, I think I'm going to do kind of like a half crescent coming this way, or maybe like a one third crescent. And then I want some flowers trailing off this side of the cake. So we wanna keep in mind as we're adding every single flower, the directionality that it's going in and just wherever we're adding the next flower, we want to make sure that it's flowing nicely in the general shape that we decided on at the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is start with our main flowers, which of course are the David Austin, the Hellebore, and the Classic Rose. And I'll begin by arranging those as kind of like our base arrangement. And then we can move from there, adding a lot more movement with our filler flowers and our greenery. So I'm still going to have to put some straws on the bases of these. So I'll do that as I go. And for larger flowers like the roses, I certainly want to have the longest stem possible. So let's only bend the base a little bit, just enough to kind of catch that wire. So I would usually like a slightly snugger fit, but this is gonna do fine because um, it's gonna be right at the base. We won't need any stem showing for this. So I'm gonna begin by inserting this into our cake, keeping in mind that direction that we're going in. And we never want all the flowers to be facing forward. We always want them facing slightly different directions. So let's start with this one facing a little bit upwards and then use your needle nose pliers to get that nice and close to the base. And then you can, of course, adjust the direction of this flower once it's been inserted. So I think I want this David Austin kind of like this. Always play with your flowers before you add them in to make sure that you like the direction that they're going in and just the shape that you're creating. If it feels too bulky in one direction, obviously don't add that flower there, just move on to a different one. So I'll show you how snug I like the wires to be um, inside the straw. So there is like a tiny little loop here. And when we insert that, it kind of bends the straw outwards. So it's really sturdy. And we're gonna insert that all the way since this is almost gonna be touching our cake. And then we can snip off the base of the straw. And so this is really sturdy now, it's not going anywhere and also measure that it's not gonna go right through the cake if you have a really long straw or really long stem. All right, but I do want this one to go right here. So I am going to just kind of eyeball that and then insert it all the way in. So I like this direction so far, I'm just gonna insert that slightly more. So we're having a nice diagonal direction. Now we wanna move a little bit further back here and then a little bit further down here. Um, I don't think we need any of our extra large flowers anymore. Let's move to the hellebores and then the fillers. 
We've got this hellebore that I've already added the straw to the wire, and we've got um, a couple centimeters of space here to move. So I really like that for flowers that are going to be kind of sticking out, which is what I want this guy to do. So I want the direction to look kind of like it's going up and out here. So we're gonna make kind of like, almost like an S shape this way. So let's check that. I'm gonna look at it from all angles too, to make sure you're happy before you insert it. And then you can always play around more with the direction, especially when you've you've left yourself a little bit of room to play with in the wire. So sometimes you'll have a little bit too much straw sticking out. What you can do now, if you'd like, you don't have to, like if you're gonna be covering that up, it's not a really big deal. Um, I'm just kind of pulling it out a little bit. Just keep in mind exactly where uh, the line is that you need it to go to. Let's try the needle nose pliers right at the base um, so that the straw doesn't move upwards. Perfect. So that looks great. We've got our nice shape coming along. I think some fillers here, and then we'll add some more fillers everywhere else. I don't think we need any more large flowers. It's gonna feel quite heavy on this cake. I'm not going to add that in. I guess another option would be to add another hellebore up here, which I think would look nice as well. <laughs> Let's just check that from all angles. You know, that might look nice just to have something extra here, adding a little bit more weight to the top. Great. So I am quite happy with the way this is coming along. Let's begin adding in some of our filler flowers. So I've got this really nice blush spray rose. Let's insert that here. That is also following kind of the direction that we're going. Let's add a few flowers in here. So you can see now that this one's kind of sticking out a little bit um, from the direction that we're going. So we're gonna wanna fill this area out just a little bit to make sure that it doesn't look like it's kind of sticking out like this, kind of in an awkward way. Let's get another spray rose. I think I definitely want one here kind of trailing downwards, maybe even two, we'll see. And I want to have this one kind of facing upwards and then I'll have one facing more downwards. Yeah, I think one down here would be nice. Let's choose a slightly lighter color. I have like a creamy white one here and I think this will be nice. So it's not taking away from any of the other colors that we've got going on. Again, facing a different direction. So if you ever get like a, an area where you can see the straw, what you can do is just grab a little bit of buttercream and just put it over that little spot or grab a tiny piping bag and just pipe it in there um, if it's bothering you and if you're not gonna be covering it up with something else. All right, so I think we have a really nice kind of shape going on here. And I would say these are most of the main flowers that we're gonna be adding. Let's just take a look around and see what else we need to add. So I think definitely back here, I'm gonna wanna add something to cover this up. Let's grab another one of our white spray roses. All right, I think this is looking good. So just check again all the way around. All right, I think we're ready to add some more fillers and then our leaves. So the fillers we've got are the Stephanotis and then I've got some white hydrangeas as well. Don't forget you can grab these tutorials for free on my YouTube channel. Let's start with these Stephanotis. So I've got a couple of different bunches here. I wanna fill up this little gap here. So kind of visualize before you insert that and then go ahead. I think we want to fill out this gap a bit here. Let's grab some hydrangeas for that. So I'm inserting that kind of like behind um, where these flowers are so I can get as much petal and as little bit of the wire showing as possible. So I'm gently, gently pressing this right from the center of the flowers. I think we can add something here just so it's not so like stark between these two flowers. Let's grab another bunch of the hydrangea. Just trying to insert that behind these flowers as well. 
so that you can't see the insertion point too much. So I really like when there's kind of like these tiny little um, petals just poking out there. It's always a very nice touch. I think we might want a little bit right here just to elongate that line a little bit. Actually, I wanna use this larger bunch up here. Um, you probably can't see it from that angle, but there is kind of like a hole here that I want to cover up. So with filler flowers, I try and keep the wires fairly short, like as short as possible, um, while still being able to insert them and for them to hold, I guess, their direction. All right, I think that's looking very nice. Um, let's just add that one little bunch here that I was talking about before, and then I think we're ready for leaves. All right, I think that's looking very nice. Uh, we can finish elongating this line with our um, leaves. I've got some rose leaves as mentioned. So trying to visualize where these are going. I'm gonna like some leaves kind of trailing off this way. We don't need everything to go in a straight direction. We like things going off like the trail, I, I would say, that we're creating. So it's fine if these are kind of flowing this way, we'll have some leaves coming up this way just to create different lines. Let's go in with some Italian Ruscus. These ones I like to use for really like big sweeps of movement. So this will really finish out the shape that we've created. And we might want to adjust this like when it goes on the cake stand. Um, it might look better coming down like this. It might look better if we bend the wires like this but I think I am pretty happy with the way this turned out. As I mentioned before, don't forget to check out the waitlist in the description box below. I'm gonna be coming out with so much more content just like this um, on larger cakes, on small cakes like this one, and just a ton of tutorials to teach you everything from start to finish for your wedding cakes. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you soon.